Hey, my name's Tom, aka Elephant. I'm here today at DBS, and we're going to be looking at some of the new features in Ableton Live 12. And I'll head over to the instruments and grab another new instrument in Live 12, which is called Meld. And I'll load that up. So Meld uh, looks like this. The kind of core idea behind the Meld synth is we've got two oscillators that we can work with, or two sound engines that we can use to generate sound. And each one of those sound engines has various different sort of, uh, well, they're called engines, these sort of wave shapes that behave in, in different ways. And each of them have these two macro controls that let you shape the sound. So just as a basic example, I've got here basic shapes. If you know anything about sound, we've got like sine wave, triangle wave, saw wave, and I can, Sort of scroll through those and adjust a tone parameter. So that's very simple. But then we get to some much more sort of interesting wave shapes, like these swarm oscillators are really interesting. Where it stacks a whole bunch of sine waves or triangle waves. I mean, this is just like the most basic form of the sound, and really that's and a pretty rich and characterful sound. All the way to some sort of more weird and wonderful ones like Chip, like a kind of a video game oscillator, Shepherd's Pie, which is a shepherd tone oscillator, which just kind of infinitely rises or falls in pitch, all the way to some things like Top is kind of like a, almost like a kick drum type sound. So there's lots of really interesting um, sound generators in here. Let me go back to this dual basic shapes, because um, this is also going introduce, to introduce us to something that's both new in Live 12 and uh, new in Meld itself. So this is a relatively simple oscillator we've got here. I've just got some shapes, and I can detune two oscillators against one another to sort of create a richer sound. But you'll hear as I get a bit higher in the detune, start sounding a bit wonky. So I can activate this feature that's uh, built into Meld and built into Live 12 called Scale Awareness. You'll see in the top right of the device, I have this little flats and sharps icon. So in previous versions of Live, we've had um, built-in keys and scales. You might be familiar if I go into a MIDI clip, um, we had this section over here where I can set a clip to be in a particular key, C minor. And that sort of helps me program particular notes. It shows me the notes that are in that, that scale when I'm uh, programming some notes in there, which we'll come back to in a moment. But now we have this globally in live. So I've got this new control where I can set the key and scale for my, my set. And that'll reflect whichever clip I have selected, So, because I set this one to C minor. And what that means is this global key and scale also applies across various different parts of live. So going back to Meld, if I enable scale awareness in this device, Meld is now aware of the scale that I've got set for my, my song, and different elements of the synth will tune to that scale. So again, here are those dual basic shapes without scale awareness. But when I turn scale awareness on, it sounds a lot more harmonious and in key. And now, instead of just kind of detuning in arbitrary amounts, you can see how it detunes in degrees of the scale, which lets you create these kind of really musical uh, sounds. And so you'll notice that a couple of the different oscillators in um, MELD have this scale awareness. There's a number of other places it shows up in live, which we'll get to. So for example, the swarm oscillators. If I turn scale awareness off, sounds a little bit kind of detuned. I'll just turn the, turn scale awareness on. And if I change to, I don't know, change to a major key. Sounds a bit more major. So it allows you to really have all these different elements of your song that kind of interact with your key in interesting ways. Let's go back to these 
do a basic shapes. Even some of the filters in Meld, I won't go into too much detail here either, but uh, also have scale awareness where you can do interesting things with the filters. So the real kind of uh, headline features of Meld here are these interesting wave shapes. We've got the scale awareness. We've also got some interesting filter types. Um, for example, this, we've got this like this warm, distorted filter. And then all the usual stuff you'd expect from a synthesizer. You can go in and... But it just sounds pretty good. So it's a super fun synth. The other thing I didn't actually mention, the MIDI effects, um, a lot of the MIDI effects have been updated to incorporate the scale awareness. Also, uh, two MIDI effects that have had a particularly big update are arpeggiator and scale. If anybody's used these before, the scale device was great, but a bit of a pain to use because in order to set the scale type, you had to like use a preset. Um, it was a very confusing device to configure. That's been updated so that now you literally just choose your scale type from this menu and it's got all the ones that you want and it's kind of configured. And you can also set up scale awareness where it just will follow your global scale. Um, arpeggiators had a redesign and that's gonna follow the, you can set that to be scale aware as well. Where that's kind of interesting with a lot of these MIDI devices is something like random is always, it's always been one of my favorite MIDI devices because you can, if I, um, Oh, it's turned off the arpeggio. But the way random works is, so I'm just playing a C now, and it's, but it's randomizing the, the pitch of the notes that I'm playing. There you can hear it's completely random, not in key. Whereas if I make it scale aware, it's gonna randomly generate notes, but only in the scale that I've set. So you can do lots more really interesting kind of generative things with these, the MIDI tools and the scale awareness, um, which is pretty fun.